Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Julian, I'm here to do my reaction video for season 2, episode 20 of The Fosters. This time the title of the episode is Not That Kind of Girl. And we are almost at the end of season 2 for The Fosters' previous episode ended in a terrible way with the guy just grabbing his gun and shooting without even knowing who it it who it was you know yes i i get it that you feel threatened you know but you can shoot and just like with your eyes closed are you are you kidding me right now so anyways we're here i really hope all the 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 uh the children they are all okay they better be okay if you don't want me to be like extremely pissed okay so they better be okay. Nothing happened to them. Please. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. I will be doing the season two finale today. If you're on Patreon, you get to watch it uh, right away. If you are on, pa on Patreon, you get to watch it. If you're on YouTube, um, in two, three days after this episode is posted, I will post episode 21. It's just that it needs to be edited, so that takes a little bit longer to do. So, yeah. Um, for now, I think that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Uh, you know, give a lot of thumbs up, a lot of hearts if you're watching on Patreon. Continue supporting for more, because I will be doing the rest of the show there is, like, no way I'm going to stop. As long as I have your guys' support, I am going to continue with the Fosters. So, uh, continue supporting, drop a like, whatever way you can do to support it, do it. It's very important, as many comments and likes and all of that that I get from you guys, that motivates me to continue doing it, to post a lot faster than I usually do. So, keep that in mind. Uh, but for now, I think that's about it. Without further ado, let's just begin with season two, episode 20 of The Fosters. Here we go. <laughs> He thought it was being robbed and grabbed his gun. It was dark, he fired, and he hit the boy. What boy? What boy? Please tell me it's not. The boy, he said the boy. Oh my god, is it Connor? It can't be, it can't be Jude. It'll oh be my right god. <gasps> my child, my child, he's okay, but like, it doesn't mean that it's Connor. Oh my god, oh my god. The bullet entered the foot here and thankfully passed clean through. We need to operate to repair the tendons, but I don't think we're talking permanent damage here. Oh, bless, it was his foot. I was like, he got shot in the chest. Oh, I don't know how you got shot in the foot, but bless. I mean, not bless because he's still hurt, but I'm glad that he's okay. You made me panic for a minute. I'm going to send the nurses in to get you prepped, and then we'll get this taken care of. Okay, good, good. I mean, Thank you. it's gonna be traumatized. What the hell are you thinking sneaking out like that? What kind of idiot breaks into somebody's house in the middle of the night? It was her. This is about that girl, that girl Daria. Is that why you did this? Is that why you snuck out? No. It's not. It's not why you did I'm it. I'm not, okay? I snuck out so I could see Jude, all right? Oh. Oh, baby. What does that mean? He said that he doesn't want you to see Connor. Well, what about tomorrow? No, he, he doesn't want you to see Connor at all. Connor told him it was all your idea. What? No, he's that lying. True? No, he's lying. He's lying. He's lying. He didn't say that. He wanted to see him. I swear God, this homophobic piece of shit. I like, like, you wonder, right? You see your child hurt. And it could have led to something even worse. And you are like, in that moment, I think you should like think, you know, what is more important, my kid's life or the fact that he's hiding, that he likes a boy. Like, you kind of like, you know, but no, he's not doing that. Ooh, I want to snap a neck, specifically one neck, his. Was it Connor's idea? Come on, dude. You know you can I think trust them. He's a bad influence on you, Jude. I don't think you guys should be hanging out as much. You know what? Just shut up. Excuse me? Oh. No, do not talk to me. Then like stop that. telling me what to do. And you don't have to worry about me and Connor hanging out. 
Because his dad said we're not allowed to be friends anymore, okay? Maybe that's for the best. You know, you'll make new friends. Just the, leave the, me alone. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, sometimes I feel like Callie looks at him as the, the baby, you know? And he's not. He's growing. You know, he needs to be allowed to have someone to talk to. And we don't need to, like, impose rules and, like... Because he's not a trouble... I mean, this m seems like a lot of trouble. But, like, it's not like him. So we need to, like, leave him to, like, open up, you know? I just love you so much. I love Callie as well. Like, I love her so much. Because I pulled your credit report to get things ready for today, and it looks like you've got four delinquent cards. Wait, what the hell? So you've accrued about $24,000 in debt. The fuck? The fuck? 24000 The fuck? Are you sure you didn't prove that someone else did all this? I have to be in front of the judge in a week. That's what I do, Callie. All right, just let yeah. me figure it out. That's what I what want if you can't, to then. Well, let, let it... It could happen. It, she's she might be extremely good at her job. The poor kid is just so devastated what? that Connor would. Th uh, am I supposed to know who that is? Never brings me coffee. He's just trying to make a good. Oh, you strain. Besides, aren't you more of a tea drinker anyway? Wait, see? See? I think Monty is flirting with you. Maybe she's bi. Okay? Or pin. So, you know, let's not throw it out and say she's straight, okay? Please. <laughs> but also, I don't want her... You know what? I don't want her to be hitting on Lena, though. What am I talking about? I don't know. She really is a girl. Who knew? And you really are an idiot, Jack. Yeah, how stupid. She really is a girl. No. So now That's I don't so know what I'm dumb. looking at in terms of pro Anna is an adult. She's got to make her own decisions. It's not your problem anymore. I she don't think he ever saw it as a problem. Everything. Think of it as helping me prepare for a future career at the post office. <laughs> Marietta, it's really good oh, at convincing please. people. <laughs> I want to do it for the baby. Anna is my birth mother. Holy hell. I have this letter that she delivers here, Papa. Hello. Who's this? Um, some kids looking for jobs. I was just telling them that uh, we're not hiring. Oh, damn. Come back in the fall. They wouldn't even talk to me. No, oh, honey, I'm so sorry. You know, I always wondered why they didn't come get us. Now I guess I know why. They didn't want anything to do with us. Oh, sweetie, hug her, please. Oh, Mariana, Whatever. you're so good. Mariana is so good. I love her so much, okay? She deserves so much more than this. It is what it is. Jay and me could do any engineering or building or whatever. Okay. Well, you and guys. Why don't Mariana and Emma do all the marketing and stuff? Mariana pretty much coordinated the walkout for Timothy single-handedly. She's like a social media monster. <laughs> okay. Right, that work for you guys? Is that good? Uh, wait, you wanted to do the coding too? Hey. I hate that. I hate that they are not taking them, like, because they're girls. They are like, oh, they shouldn't be here, you know? And, like, it's a guy's thing. And, like, fuck off. We, we have a brain too. I mean, I you? don't do in terms of coding, but like, Prince Marble, other things. You can ask my brother, he's the slow one in the family. <laughs> Especially since it was your idea. Well, nobody made you come with us. Yeah. I know. You all are you responsible like for it. Jude. I'm sorry. It wasn't your fault. But yeah. That's the thing, you know, it's sad because the type of friendship he has with Connor is about very much like, no, it's your fault. It's your fault. It's about pointing fingers at one another because they want to get, like, especially Connor, he wants to get out of the situations anytime his dad thing is not right, you know, and that he points fingers. But the thing is that all four of them made this mistake. All four of them 
you know, when they did all of this, whoever's idea it was, at the end of the day, they all follow, follow through, you know, so. Why? You've been having so much fun. I guess I just want to be taken seriously, and I don't think anyone is going to do that if we're out there shaking our asses. They should. Just because of the you know what? They should. If you dance sexy, dress sexy or not, you know, you're still as valuable to any place you walk into, right? I, I always hated that people are like, for instance, I don't like dressing with like, like skinny, like shirts. I have never liked it. Never in my life have, have I liked it. Do I judge people that do it? No, go off if you, that's what you like. That's not my business, you know? That doesn't mean that I think less of someone just because they wear like, I don't know, skinny jeans or like very tight shirts or whatever. Like, it's so dumb that we even, as, we as women think that, oh, you know, just because she dresses like that, you know, people are never going to take her serious. Why? Like, it's so dumb. The wrestlers? We got put in charge. It's not like they asked us to be secretaries or whatever. Yeah, they put us in charge of the girl thing. We might as well be spokesmodels. Like, but why can't she be both smart and sexy? Why, exactly. Why do you have to choose? Exactly. Because that's just the way it is. Yeah, but we gotta go against that, right? Come on. So Wait, you think she feels like rejected or something? No, no, it was not like that. She's just not the kind of girl. You don't have to be that kind of girl to get your heart broken, dumbass. <laughs> I love the conversations between them. What's up? So why are you letting a bunch of boys decide what kind of girl you want to be? Exactly. I'm not. You, you say are. that's just the way things are. But no, I don't accept that. Thank you, Mariana. If things aren't the way they're supposed to be, then you have to change them. Thank right? you, a queen. What if I told you I had an idea? I love this. You know, two girls supporting each other. Like, how wonderful was that scene? Yes. Wait, Jacob Kelly? The fuck? We found the thief. We have to report her. I don't give a damn. Maybe I should try women. Well, maybe you should. Not this one. Oh, trust me, they're not any easier. <laughs> really? Oh, I was sure they would be. At least women know how to communicate. Not necessarily. Uh, not necessarily. Like my wife. I just hate that we're making big decisions like this when we're not at our best, you know? Don't fall in love with her. I do need something extra for the kids. I'm Mariana. I know. You do? I know that it's not their responsibility. And it was not their responsibility to take care of the children. But like, you will think that, you know, you will understand that in Anna's addiction, the kids, it was not their fault and they needed their family. Why weren't they there for them, right? It's a guy, right? It's, 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 it's Liam. You piece of shit. Pretty bag like that would look real good on a pretty lady like you. Oh, shut up, you um, asshole. Where'd you get it? Yeah, I'm Callie Jacobs, mom, and you're under arrest for fencing stolen goods. Oh mom. my god! Going somewhere? <laughs> yes! You beat bitch! Not getting to know you. She was glad we couldn't get our hands on her children. So we couldn't make them suffer. Like she did. Oh my God. But we always tried, always forgave her. But not that, I couldn't forgive that. I understand that. And thank you for the Christmas presents. The Christmas Oh, because they're the names of probably their family. Oh, Christmas presents. He couldn't bring himself to not do it, I'm get, I guess. You know who was like that? 
my grandfather on my uh, dad's side. Now something that... Uh, oh my God, even thinking about it brings some tears to my eyes. My, my dad wasn't responsible at all for, for us. Um, everything, all the responsibility lied on my mom and my grandpa on my mom's side. But my grandpa on my dad's side, um, even though we, we didn't visit much, you know, and we, we were not really in touch with that, with that side of my family, every Christmas there was a present from him that he sneak out uh, to bring us. And every week or every two weeks, he go went to by my house to give us some milk, some something. You know, he worked as a, a as a cab driver, so it's not like he had like a lot of money. But you know, he he tried as much as he could to like give us something. You know, uh, to me and my and my my brother, without the knowledge of my grandmother at the time, because she was also not really good. She supported my dad, even though my dad was not, you know, was not very responsible. But my grandpa on my dad's side, he was great. He always made us feel like we were part of the family, even though we were not very close. And he always, you know, Christmas or birthday and like every other week that he could, he would bring us something to eat or something. And you know what? That... That's something that my dad never knew because he was very like he always told my mom not to say anything to my dad because he knew how irresponsible his kid was and how much he hated that he was making us go through that. Um, but in a way, he wanted to help with something, you know, um, and he was so, so sweet. I always loved my grandpa on my dad's side for that. You know, my grandma at the end, you know, of her life, she kind of apologized for the things that she did. And I don't hold a grudge on her, but like, I really did care about my grandpa more than I did for my, for my mom's, for my dad's mom. Um, but yeah, just like that, like him, you know, he, he used to like go and, and like bring us a present for birthdays, for Christmas, you know, and every other week, uh, you know, he showed up with, with like milk or when my brother needed diapers, diapers, you know, or anything that he could like fruit, whatever it was. It was like, honestly, he had no responsibility in doing that. It was my dad, but like he didn't do any of it. Um, but you know, he always like in his, you know, small way, you know, in a small way, 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 he did that because he didn't make a lot. He was a cab driver. It was not like, you know, paying a lot of bills and he was already retired, you know, but yeah, he was good like that. That really gave me a really good warm feeling. He passed away a couple years ago, I think. It was really sad. But yeah. He came out! Oh my god, Connor! Oh! I love him so much! How you been, Kelly? Oh, fuck I you! Better, but... I sure am sorry about what Sarah did. I had no idea. Yeah, you fucking bitch. Yeah. She just loves you so much. Maybe she's do just afraid to, you know? You couldn't even wait till you were done with her to use her credit. Oh. You had some other girl somewhere else selling the stuff that you bought in Sarah's name. Oh my God. And she also told us about the sexual relationship. I, I'm really so hoping that you like go to jail. To jail Liam, for a good long time. That's good. That's good. 
That's good. You did good. Hope you rot in jail, bitch. Mike said that you left these at his uh, place, and I thought you might need them. Oh, um, these aren't... I have prescription ones. Oh. He wanted you to check where she's leaving. Remember, we decided not to tell the kids about the baby. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, we might want to get on that. Oh, hello. What the hell? Steph! <laughs> Steph! Oh my god! Okay guys, so that was the end of Season 2, Episode 20 of The Fosters. This was a really good episode. Thankfully, you know, nothing major happened. Uh, Connor sadly got shot. Uh, but it was in the foot. You know, and it's like they're going to do surgery on him and they're expecting a full recovery from the injury. So that is good. I mean, good news because I was expecting the worst. I was like, they just shot a kid and they just killed a kid. I can't deal with this. I can't. I was like, no. Okay. I didn't want to even start to think whether if one of the kids got hurt. Did not want to think about it. So... I'm glad that no nothing, you know, major uh, happened. And I'm glad that they are 100%. Well, Connor maybe like 90%. But like, at least they're not, you know, in immediate danger. You know, their lives are not in danger right now. So I'm glad. But one of the most important things, something that I, did, I didn't really thought it was going to happen, is that Connor came out to his dad um though i feel like it's just so sad that we didn't got to see him actually doing it you know i wish I, we could have seen uh that but it wasn't something that they showed us um and i think it's a very important thing what they're doing with both connor and jude's um storyline in the sense of like we're seeing what happens when a kid is loved and care and like they know you know that kid knows that th that whatever they decide and whoever they decide to love at the end of the day that their family is going to be there for them and they're gonna love that love him or them you know no matter what and that is honestly something that you I feel like society needs you know to have parents who don't have expectations uh about every single thing in your kids uh about your kids life you know because we do we want them to be so much better than we are but at the end of the day is their lives to live and we need to be there to support them to love them to care for them that's basically all you need to do you know you don't need to impose your own ideas on your children you know you might lead them a certain path but at the end of the day is their life to live um as difficult as that might be because we also have uh you know Anna's parents who are just you know uh went through that with Anna and Anna turned out to you know all the 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 things that she has done um so I think that it's very important like I said you know to have that as a as, as a part you know um uh, as someone in any regard, you know, but especially if, you know, about your kid's sexuality uh, or yeah. So thing is that we have two ways to look at it. We have Jude where he is like loved, like I just explained. And you have Connor who has a more difficult type of coming out, something that is very much um, um, uh, sadly more common you know, where you have a parent that is not okay with that, that has their own, you know, homophobic views about it and that will make that part of yourself uh, and make you feel ashamed for that part of, your, of yourself and will try to just destroy and hide that part of who you are um, 
because they don't feel comfortable with it, you know? Um, so I feel bad for Connor. I truly, truly feel bad for Connor because at the end of the day, his dad is like, he heard what, what he said and he goes out and he's like, I don't want this boy to be anywhere near of Connor. Like, that is going to make the gay go away. Like, it's so dumb, you know? And I, I am afraid. I mean, right now in the hospital, Connor is safe. Uh, you know, physically speaking, he's safe. Um, but like psychologically, all the things that his dad must be telling him, I feel terrible that he might be going through something so bad with his dad right now. So we'll see what happens. I mean, uh, the moment that Connor told him, I told my, my dad I'm gay, you know, um, when Connor said that, you can see that, that glimmer of hope on on Jude where he is like well if he said that and he's so sure of it not necessarily that he feels that he's a hundred percent gay or not we don't know yet he hasn't expressed that um but the thing is that I think that he sees a way of of actually being able to be with him and being able to explore that you know I don't know I I, I saw something in him that was so pure in like the sense of like Okay, maybe, you know, there's hope for us. And hopefully there is, you know. We'll see what, what that turns out to be. I don't, I, we don't know. Um, but yeah, yeah. Hopefully it's something good. Uh, hopefully it leads to something good. Um, then we have the whole story with Mariana. You know, I, I just... This girl, like... When it started, there was so many superficial things with Mariana in the sense of like how she dressed, how she talked, the way she, you know. But little by little, we have discovered so much about Mariana. Like she's super smart. She's super talented as well, you know, with the dancing and all of it. And, you know, the, the heart that that girl has, like she has such, like such a big heart, you know, because she is concerned about her sister that will be born she doesn't want her sister to go through any of the problems that she had she wants her to have a happy family and since her moms are not adopting the baby she's like why aren't this the extended family answering Anna's uh you know letters or things like that so she went and you know as hurtful as it might be she was like why didn't you guys want us, you know? And it wasn't like that. It was very much Anna's fault because she, you know, was resentful of her parents. I mean, I'm not going to say, oh, the parents are just angels and whatever Anna is saying, it's wrong. No, she might have her reasons to be upset with her parents. But when you have a kid, you cannot allow yourself to be selfish, you know? And she was in a terrible place. And the fact that she didn't allow her kids to grow up. I mean, it turned out for the best for for, for them because they need uh, Lena and Steph and they are adopted and they are loved and all of that. But, you know, the fact that Anna prevented them from having any contact with their related, you know, relatives is just terrible. You know, how how selfish was she at that moment to not allow them because... This could have turned a very dark corner, you know, and it could have gone wrong for both Mariana and Jesus. Thankfully, it didn't, but it could have. And, like, wouldn't it have been better to be with family? Now, there's always this thing about us, like, of course, they're family. They should be. We don't know how. Because also, your family can be toxic as well. Like, Anna can, could be completely in the right as well. So, I'm going to wait until we get Anna's side of the story as well. Like, from now, I, I feel like, you know, she was being selfish. But we need to learn from her side, why did she feel that way against her parents? It might be the drugs, the fact that the parents may be being strict. But there could be also a lot more... You know, we don't know. And family can be toxic and you can give up on family. And for her to think that they, the kids will be better with someone else rather than her parents. Like, I think we also need to listen. Did it come from a place from like 
a traumatic place for her or that it came just because of the drugs and because her parents, you know, wanted her clean and wanted her to clean up her her mess. Where did it come from? I'm going to guess that because Anna is reaching out to them, it might be because of the drugs and her addiction and all of that. But we're not going to know until she actually says it, you know. Um, anyways, what else happened on, on this episode? Well, Liam. How much of a scumbag is he? Like, I think he has every single... Like, I am not a psychiatrist. But he is very... Like, we can agree that he's very narcissistic. At least, you know. And that I don't know if he's a sociopath... Or a psychopath. I think a sociopath, right? Because he's able to trick these young girls into doing whatever he wants, you know? And that is just horrible. And I am so glad that um, karma got to him. Finally. Okay? Because these girls deserve to be safe. And the world deserves to be safe. You know, from this guy. You know, he was using Callie's. Like... The fact that he continues to, like, put more psychological, like, trauma on Callie by using her identity to have credit cards to steal from her to get some cash. It's like, dude, you are a very capable dude. You have your two legs and two arms. You can work for the money that you need and that you want. Like... No, but of course he doesn't do that. He wants something easy. So he does he he does this and then he only doesn't use use this girl, but also, you know, uh uses another girl to do exactly the same thing to the one that he is, you know, using to get to Cali. It's just awful. And I really, really hope that he stays in jail for a long time. Because he deserves that. It's so awful what he does. I just, it's so disgusting. I'm so glad that he's going to face um, the repercussions of his actions. I am very glad. I'm glad also that um, Steph uh, was able to figure out the case like in a second. I like a great detective. I loved it. Um... And I love that Mike was there to ba- back her up. And I love that Mike, w- Mike was like, okay, I drop her. Can you give this, you know, this pills to her? And the only reason why he did that, it was because he wanted her to see that Anna was living in a terrible place. I don't think he wanted her to offer Anna to move in with the Fosters. But uh, <laughs> they did. And Lena is like... Like, she can't take any more surprises from her wife, you know? And also Monty, that I'm getting such a vibe from her. Like, she finally in this episode said that her previous relationship was a man. Because she said, my husband. Um, But she was like, oh, maybe I should try girls. And I'm like, go for it, try girls. That doesn't mean that we're not less... (laughs) Um... I don't know. How, what is the right word to use? It's not that we're less... It's not less of a problem. Is it still like... It comes with the personality, I think. Anyways. The thing is that she was like... I'm all for it. For her to experiment with a girl. Any girl that she wants. You know, every... Any uh, woman of age. <laughs> you know, who can consent to a relationship with her. Bless Monty... The lesbian. I'm okay with that. But do not, like, come and, like, like make eyes at Lena. Because I feel like she is doing that. And, like, I do not like it. I want a friendship? Yes. Do not want anything else. I don't. So walk away, Monty. Even though she's really hot. But, like, I don't want anything there. Okay? Please. For the love of all gods. But I think that that's where it's going. And I hate to think about it. Anyways. What else happened on this episode? Um, What else happened on this episode? Uh, Well, Callie, we knew that Jude, Jesus, Mariana, Brandon is still like, Lou's not talking to him, which is sad. 
Mike, Anna, the grandparents, Lena. I don't think there's... I wanted to say something, but um, I forgot. Because it don't, doesn't it happen to you guys if someone takes like ha it takes medicine for anxiety or depression does it mess it with your memory because i ha it that happens so much for me uh because i'm talking and then i'm thinking about the next thing and then i forget the thing that i talked previously it's like so dumb and i had something to say right now and i forgot Anyways, it's not going to come to me again. <laughs> um, but I love it, this episode. I think it was great. I think, you know, it was amazing. And the season finale, I mean, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. As long as they don't leave me with a huge cliffhanger, I'm okay with it. It's going to be a cliffhanger, but I don't want it like such a big cliffhanger. Oh, I know what I was going to talk about. Mariana and Emma. I love, love the conversation between these two girls, you know, because Mariana really didn't think, doesn't think that because of who she is, because she's a, a, a woman, that she, that opportunities have been taken away from her. She doesn't think that way, but people do that. I mean, the kids on the coding team, they were doing that. I mean, Marianne is good. She doesn't see, like, the whole marketing thing as a girly thing to do. Uh, so she didn't thought about that. But Emma did. And I think Emma is right. But I'm glad that Marianna was like, okay, we, we're not going to back out. We're not going to do what they want. What we're going to do is unite and prove to them that we can be, like, in high heels... Wearing this, like, the, the, the most, like, girly girl clothes, clothes, and we are still going to kick ass when we, like, go for it and, and code and do the coding thing. We're going to prove them wrong that we can be both smart and sexy because there's no rule for us to be one or the other. And I loved, love that. Like, how empowering that is. I just think it was an amazing conversation. It's been a while since I have watched a show with like really, really young girls to just be like so powerful. And for Mariana to have, you know, her mind is like, why wouldn't they think about me in that way? Like, because just because I dress girly, like she didn't even re register that, but she didn't diminish Emma's opinion about it. She, he, he, she hurt her loud and clear and she was like yes i understand that but you don't need to back out because you also love dancing and that doesn't make you any less of a great coder so we're gonna do both i i mean my love for mariana has just skyrocketed like i swear to god she is amazing i love how she takes on new challenges every single time you know, and it's just amazing. It's um, She's amazing. She is amazing. I love her so much. So, yeah, that is what I wanted to talk. I'm so glad that I remember. Anyways, that's it. I love the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Give it a little thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. You can go right now to Patreon and watch the full uncut extended version of this reaction and so much more. So in case you guys want to do that, link, as always, will be posted in the description down below. And if you're on Patreon, I'm going to watch the season finale in a few minutes. So stay tuned for that. And for now, that's about it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for the Fosters. That's it. Bye, guys. <laughs>